Can you spot the fake? One of these is the real Northern Lights, the other is an imposter. If you guess the bottom, you're right. That's lights coming from greenhouses in Leamington, Ontario. How did it reach all the way here? The weather plays a big part in that. On a typical early fall day, the air is uniform. Electromagnetic waves beam out to space with little obstruction. This includes light waves, radar waves, and radio waves. But there was a cold front on Wednesday night. The warmer air above pinned the incoming cold air down to the ground. That invisible temperature barrier is known as an inversion. That inversion is so powerful, it traps most waves to the ground and can do so over long distances. In the case of our fake aurora, the red and green light Northeast Ohio saw traveled 60 miles from Leamington across Lake Erie. And the inversion doesn't just affect light waves, it can even affect our Power of Five radar too. Watch how the radar waves bounce back to the ground, making it seem like it's raining pretty much everywhere, even though it's not.